Welcome back to Be Spice. In this session, we'll focus on new topic, nitrogen blanketing. Okay, so what is the purpose and what is the application and also the standards uh, pertinent to this. So yeah, before going into the you know topic of this, I wanted to inform you, a big thing is coming up in Be Spice, uh, meaning uh, I'm going to come out with the instrument installation design aspects. So that is like, you know, uh, planning to uh, upload under mastering instrument installation. Meaning if you go through that series of videos, maybe some 10 parts I'm planning and you will be a master in the instrument installation related design. Okay, that is one thing. And additionally, also, you know, intend to upload videos around 50 uh, uh, series, actually, 50, yeah, five zero on the typical drawings related to instrument installation, all typical drawing. You can make use of that and get benefited. Okay, with that good news, I will start with this proceeding. Nitrogen blanketing. Just I'll touch upon a bit intro. See, friends, if you have worked in a refinery and petrochemical predominantly, you would have know, known this, right? Nitrogen blanketing, yes. So nitrogen blanketing is a crucial practice in refineries and petrochemical plants. What for? To enhance safety, preserve the product quality. Um, that's important. Huh? Preserve the product quality and to prevent undesirable reactions. So this is a bit of an intro. It involves use of nitrogen. So that is why the name nitrogen blanketing. Okay, nitrogen gas to maintain an inert atmosphere in storage tanks, vessels, and equipment handling volatile or reactive chemicals. So this is the uh, intro about the nitrogen blanketing. Now we will see the industry standards. Okay, see standard in the sense, uh, you know, APA two thousand. That is related to venting atmospheric and low pressure storage tanks, uh, APA 2000. Then OSHA and NFPA codes for fire and explosion prevention. In fact, if you want to get to know about the codes and standards relevant to instrumentation in B Spice, we have uploaded uh, three videos on instrumentation codes and standards alone, right from A to Z. Uh, you just think about a letter A, APA, right? Yeah. I, ISO, right? Like that. So think about anything, you will get it in B-SPICE. Huh? Just wanted to inform you if you are a first-time viewer. Okay. Then BSEN15321. This is related to nitrogen blanketing systems for process tanks. Okay. So these are the three uh, industry, I mean, uh, uh, what do you call it? Standards relevant to this uh, subject. Right. Now we talk about the purpose. Okay. Explosion prevention. Okay. That is the one of the purpose, just remember this, probably this could be your interview question, who knows, yeah, explosion prevention. See, flammable liquids in storage tanks or process equipment can produce vapor air mixtures in the explosive rain, right? I hope you agree. Flammable liquids in storage tanks or process equipment can produce vapor air mixtures, right? Yes. So, this nitrogen displaces the oxygen thereby reducing the risk of ignition. So that is the point. So the first point is explosion prevention. So nitrogen displaces oxygen and reduces the risk of ignition. Then oxidation prevention. What is that oxidation? You know, reactive chemicals like hydrocarbon solvents that may degrade or polymerize in the presence of oxygen, right? Yes. So nitrogen prevents oxidation and preserves the product quality. As I rightly said in the beginning, yeah, it's used for preserving the product quality, okay? So explosion prevention, oxidation prevention, okay? Explosion prevention, reducing the risk of ignition. Oxidation prevention, preserve the product quality, okay? Okay, two done. Then moisture exclusion. Nitrogen prevents moisture ingress that could lead to corrosion or unwanted reaction. Hmm? Hydrolysis like that. Okay. So it prevents moisture ingress. Okay. Then safety during maintenance. Nitrogen purging and blanketing eliminate combustible gases and oxygen during equipment cleaning, repair or shutdowns, ensuring the worker safety. Okay, so the nitrogen purging and blanketing eliminate the combustible gases and oxygen. Okay, so that's about this. So the purpose, just remember, explosion prevention, oxidation prevention, then moisture exclusion, and of course, safety. That's it. Very simple purpose. 
Now we go to the application storage tank. Okay, you know, right? Fixed roof tanks and we have a dome type a floating also. Okay, when we talk about fixed roof tank, it maintains a inert atmosphere above the stored liquid to prevent vapor accumulation. So the point is, it prevents them. Um, see, it maintains the inert atmosphere above the store liquid, um, above the store liquid to prevent vapor accumulation. This is for the fixed roof tank. Then when we talk about the floating roof tank, so this is used in vapor space between the liquid surface and the roof to further minimize flammability. Very simple. So storage tank, fixed roof tank, floating roof tank. So in fixed roof tank, it maintains an inert atmosphere above the stored liquid to prevent vapor accumulation. Floating roof tank used in the vapor space between the liquid surface and the roof to further minimize flammability. Okay, that's one of the application. Then, in reactor system, it provides an inert environment for reaction sensitive to oxygen or moisture. So that is the, you know, application. It provides an inert environment. Very simple. Now, pipeline purging. This is very common, right? Yeah. It removes oxygen and other, other impurities before introduction of hydrocarbons. Okay. So when you do this nitrogen, you know, pipeline purging, it removes oxygen and other impurities before the introduction of hydrocarbons. Very good, right? Yes. Then loading and unloading operation. See, during the loading and unloading, it prevents vapor or mixture during product transfer. Okay, that's it. That's it, friends. Very simple. And I hope uh, uh, you like this video. Yeah, thanks again for watching. See you, as I highlighted in the beginning, see you in the very, I mean, uh, see you with more uh, updates on inst mastering instrument installation design and also the typical drawings up. So the all together, it will be like a hundred series of videos. So stay tuned and show your support. Okay, thank you. That's it friends, thanks, bye.